back. I'm back. But last we left off, you had gone through several yards to get to a, a home where you had been incapacitated by a child. Uh, you bled out for a while and woke up tied to a spinning wheel uh, in which the children were going to throw steak knives at you. Uh, you finagled your way out of there using song and love of Spider-Man and superheroes. But uh, in doing so, you were able to get enough time for you to escape the building. Getting to a car, having phone, you dialed into the main line, gave an update to your uh, supervisors, and they're sending an extraction team. Uh, before the extraction team can get there, you need to do one thing, which is to turn, well not turn off, but to actively disable the frequency that this program has been broadcast on uh, using a specific way of doing so, which had been provided to you. You know how to do this. You just need to physically get to uh, whatever is broadcasting it. You found a the wires that led to the broadcast tower which is not far from here it's it's within eyesight mm -hmm. um and as you went to go approach it you heard the footsteps of many small children that you had turned into little vigilantes running after uh a clown uh so this is where we leave off this is in the middle of the night still uh, you see the broadcast tower, and it it has a little bit of a reflection, or not a reflection, but a contrast against the black sky, as this is a bright white metallic structure with little red lights going up and down it. Um, you know that whatever you're going to need to do is not going to be at the base of this thing. You're going to have to climb this thing. Um, and you're not going to be on the outside. There's there's a ladder or there's stairs or something. Like it's meant to be accessed by proper people, right. um, but you will have to <laughs> access it. So as you look up at it, you can see like the night sky. It's a very cloudy, overcast day. There's some mist going around in the the lower areas. Um, this is an open parking lot, not like a super wide, open like flat. One, this is one of those old industrial parks that's been here for decades and have eroded away. So it's just like the the asphalt has turned into that black crumbly and there's dirt and grass and stuff. So that like the, the ground is not exactly flat. As you t take your step, you can hear the crunch and you can hear that happening with the children and the, the clown running as well. So you are facing a direction. And the clown and children are basically going perpendicular to you so that either they will make it to the, the tower first, area-ish wise, um, but you don't know, like, is that his destination? You don't know if he's just running in that direction, whatever, but it is there. Okay. Um, knowing that, uh, knowing that, I know... One, I do know my leg is a little fucked up, if I'm correct. You've been From stabbed the in the side. You, yeah, you, you're, you, you're, you're, you're missing a hand. Yeah. Um, or you're missing your fingers, your four fingers, um, and your thumb. I think. Yeah. Your thumb. <laughs> this whole <laughs> shit is gone. <laughs> so you're missing half of a hand, and your foot had been crushed, but it's it's doable like it's not like you're missing a foot or whatever it's just you know it's been injured um okay. and you have a stab wound in your side Ooh, it's not too much fast i can move and i'm a i'm gonna i'm gonna try to really hobble my way like hearing that uh these footsteps are more so more or less perpendicular um not really knowing if the clown is running towards there to either reset this broadcast do whatever i'm gonna try to hobble my way to see if I can get there first, especially knowing that I'm following the wires. So two things that I'm going to add to this. Okay. One, uh, you remember too, 
uh, you have seven hit points, basically. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are down three, so you're up to four. You're at your halfway point. Yeah. Um, any further from this, you're gonna get a permanent effect, and you're going to really be out of state. Um, and if you get four more, then you're dead dead. But, Mm -hmm. um, with that said, if you want to try and push, we can leave it up to the r- rolls, see with a backbone check how well you're able to kind of push past your hobble. Um, with a six or less, you're going to make it worse. Uh, with a seven to nine, you're just going to be in pain, but um, you'll probably get there, or a ten and more, you'll get there on time. Or quick without any injury mm. and that's the three options right okay Ooh. and if i don't hobble then i'm i'm pretty much risking clown yeah, if you, there if, first if, exactly and you still don't know if he's gonna climb the tower stay at the tower or run past the tower you have no idea but it's a risk it's a risk that's a good one. 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 Okay. Um. Let's push past. Let's let's. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to push past the hobble for the most part. All right. Give me a backbone check to kind of survive being pushed past your limits. Seven. All right. So with a seven, you you do it, but something goes awry. So you are in great pain. Um, so for a little while, you're going to have disadvantage to, um, certain checks, but you do not make your injury worse. Um, you've hobbled, you're in pain, you're, you're like every step you, you get a, sh- a sharp pain in your foot, you're dripping blood from multiple areas already. Um, but you're able to drag your foot, crush crush the little crumbles beneath you as you get closer to the, the tower. As you get there, what are you... Are you focusing on the tower? Are you focusing on him? Are you trying to kind of, like, go between the two? What are you doing? Uh, for the most part, I definitely want to go between the two uh, while hearing the footsteps. Uh, while hearing the footsteps, at least I could tell... Like, luckily, with all the crumbles... I can tell more. I know it's going to kind of cause an echo, but I can tell more or less where this person could be running, where the kids could be running. But I, as, as I'm doing that, I'm still going to try to make sure I make it up to that tower, up to the broadcast switch first. So are you listening to them and looking at the broadcast tower or are you physically looking at both? Like, are you swiveling your head? Uh, head on swivel. On swivel, okay. Yeah. So you're 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 not focused on either, but right. you're looking at both. Right. All right. right. So give me a smooth check with disadvantage. Okay. So that'd just be a regular R two D six, right? Because I have a plus one. Uh, no. So you're gonna do two D six plus one, and you're gonna do it twice, and give me the lowest. Got you. Okay. 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 Seven for the first one. Eight for the second. Okay, so, so we're going to take a seven. Okay. So you do it. You're able to look both at the tower and at um, the clown. You can tell where there are. You have a feeling that there might have been details either of the tower or of the group running that you're not focused on and you missed, but you are at least able to navigate correctly to the tower and know where the, the clown group is. Right. And they, you are definitely going to make it before they are. Okay. Okay. They're a good, like, 30 to 40 feet away from you by the time you reach the base. Okay. So, so you only have a few seconds before he's going to get there. I mean, it's only 30 feet. Right. But right. Um, you have a few seconds. You see right now what looks like a large pole in the center of this. And the pole has a ladder and the ladder has like a round enclosure. It's just like a very wide grate. Um, It's it's 
it's just a beam with like maybe two or three up pulls that go all the way up and it basically just creates a type of surrounding area so that if you were to like fall backwards you like hit that and you're not gonna fall all the way down you'll still fall but you know you'd have at least opportunity to catch yourself more than just having the ladder in front of you okay the, the, no no understand? no i get that yeah yeah that that's in, that's in, that's in my head i got you i got okay. you on that um so you see the ladder it's it doesn't start on the ground it starts about maybe five feet up so you're gonna have to pull yourself up remember you're missing half of a hand and you have a broken foot or a messed up foot yeah um you can still try to do this um once you get up there you're pretty sure you can at least like hook your arm around to use the ladder it's really going to be the you know initial pull yourself up you can't yeah <laughs> you're going to be pulling yeah. yourself up with one hand um you can definitely try to do this of course but um and honestly you know you, you have to get up there somehow right um and you only have a few seconds before he's going to get to this area so uh either do what you want to do or if you want to do some type of investigation to see if there's other options you can do that but again that's going to limit your time i'm gonna i'm gonna try to focus on on getting up there that's that's okay. that might be that might be only because like well No, 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 no. Let me let me focus on getting up there. Let me focus on getting up there. I I am in no way, shape, or form to even get into an altercation with Clown Man. So, let me let me focus on getting up there. He's gonna he'll whoop right. my ass the way I'm hurt right now. So, and I can't risk that. All right. So, um, are you going to try to brute force your way up, or are you going to try to um see if there's some way like other a, than that, like a stepping like a like a thing i can like a platform or something um like that could be an option but like you do, as of right now you don't see it because when you ran you were you were looking at both so you never got to see what was around um yeah let me let me at least try to do that um make it see if i can make it somewhat easier on myself but i am more or less like not really like investigate but i'm gonna just kind of while sure. i'm headed I mean, towards this, the ladder this, yeah. yeah this is like within less than five seconds that you're doing this okay yeah perfect okay perfect perfect, perfect. so give me a smooth check and since you're focused now just on that you can give it to me with advantage which is the opposite of what you were doing before so do it twice give me the best got you uh nine the nine was your best yeah nine was the best yeah okay so um you you see that there is what looks like some type of lever to the left of the um the ladder so like up in the air there's like a lever or a latch or something you you're not quite sure what it is you don't you don't see what it attaches to but there's a lever all right yeah let's pull the lever all right um give me a trick check in order to activate the um lever 10. okay perfect so you with one hand actually you don't even use that hand you use your left hand which is your broken hand or your cut off hand but you just smack the lever Ooh. the lever goes down and it dislodges a second portion of the ladder so the ladder goes all the way to the ground nice um so you are now able to go without having to like pull yourself up but that also means the ladder is available to anyone else as well right um looking for what i have in my okay um i'm gonna i'm gonna before i climb i'm gonna this is weird i'm gonna take my but it's the best thing i can think of right now i'm gonna take I'm gonna take my shirt off really quickly. Okay. And tie the shirt around the lever. Okay. And then once I do that, I'm gonna climb up while um like like even if I like attach it to like um Give me a smooth check. I can't think of I blanked. I'm sorry. Ooh. I, I know what I know what you're doing. Thank but... you. Smooth eight. Okay, so when you look at it, when you hit the lever, 
it was just gravity that pulled the, the ladder down. It wasn't like a mechanical thing. So if you pull the lever back up, it's just going to lock it in place. It's just going to lock it in place. Okay. Okay. My man. I'm glad we was here on that. You you knew what I was doing. Um, You know? Uh, okay. So then I'm just going to climb up then. I'm just going to climb up. All right. Yeah. So give me one more smooth check. As you get there, you're going to climb up. That's fine. Uh, you don't even need to do a check right now. Oh, um, damn. But okay. as you, but as you, oh, it's fine. All right, cool. So yeah, you're completely focused on climbing. You're, you've ignored at this point. You're like, all right, if they come here, they come here. It's not worth watching them. I have to focus on getting up there. Right. So you ignore them completely, and you start climbing. Give me a brawn or backbone check. Up to you. I do backbone. Okay. Nine. All right. So um, you struggle to get up there, but you get up there. Nice. Um, okay. You start going at least. You're, you're not at the top, but you are you go a, a decent distance as you go. And you're, you're already slowed down between your broken foot and your messed up hand. But you are able to do this. Again, it's you've got this grating around you almost so that it like you, you feel a little bit comfortable that you're not about to fall mm -hmm. like you still have that sense of like hey i'm high up but also you're you've got a sense that i'm like being hugged by metal <laughs> like it's okay <laughs> um but as you get up you make it about halfway give me one more either backbone or brawn i do backbone eight i think again all right so at this point you get up to the top you are now at an electrical device. You're very high up. Um, you, you don't look left or right because you're like, I'm just going to get dizzy. Right. Uh, so I'm just looking at the front. I see the electrical device. I have been trained this. I know how to do this. So like, you don't have to figure out how to do it. You just have to physically do it. Okay. Um, give me... And this will the rolls will do two different things depending on how you go okay um either a trick or a creep check if you get over a 10 either one will just perfectly work okay. but if you get less than a 10 if you get seven to nine or six or less it'll do two different types of things okay i'm gonna i'm gonna go trick okay nine Okay, so just under the perfect. So you are able to do this. It takes you a while. And it gets to the point where you're like, all right, if that clown was chasing after me, it would have gotten here by now. And right. you, kinda, you don't hear hands and feet on the me metal ladder as it climbs. You don't hear that at all. And you kind of realize you never did. Mm -hmm. So okay. in your head, you realize that either he never climbed up in the first place um or he might have just never gotten to you in the first place you have no idea where he was and you kind of remember now too that when you're at the base you completely stopped listening to them right. and went straight up you have no idea did they turn around did they stop did they come here did they go past you you have no idea where they are but they're somewhere and you're at the top of a pole uh you have a successfully turned off or not turned off but you have altered this broadcast so the broadcasts are still being broadcast but it won't have that effect on people so it won't make adults pass out and it won't make kids go crazy yeah um but the broadcast itself will keep going and the reason why uh the society does things like this is that if it was to suddenly turn off people would notice it and then they'd have they try to turn it back on so you don't want to do that you don't want to have people notice what's going on um so that's going on the, the lights are still on on the pole and you are at the top so at this point there's no like platform or anything the literally the only other thing you can do is go down or stay here it's it's up to you what you want to do Hmm. At this point, do I can I check my my cell phone? Do I still have that. 
Uh, I f yes, you do. Okay, can I? Yeah. No, gonna, no you don't. No, you I don't. don't you right? Lost, you lost it in the studio. Yeah, with the with the uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's right. Cause I had to use the landline in the in the truck. You're right. Um. That means I wouldn't have my partners either, but that wouldn't have mattered because I wouldn't have been able to get in. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, damn, I wanted to see how long till extraction time, but it looks like my best bet is to climb down. But I, I'm, am I outside? Yeah, you are in the air. Okay, I'm in the air. Okay, can I at least survey the area to see if I see any, like, is even though I'm high up, I'm pretty sure I can see a, a, a clown with, with blonde hair and some kids chasing or running around in that area, even if it's in the initial area. Well, I'll let you do this. Okay. We'll do some things, but I'll let you know too, though, like you are like 120 feet in the air in the oh. in the nighttime. Oh, so it's that high. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, you, okay. You went up a broadcast tower. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, that's right, yeah. Um. Yeah, that's true. Um, like okay, you can no, no. still look down, of course, but it'll be it's not as easy as you might think. Yeah. Um what do I have on me, maybe possibly. Pretty much nothing. Um Yeah, pretty much nothing. Um alright, I'ma look down. Um not gonna focus too hard, but I'ma look down and then go to climb down. Alright. First thing I need is a backbone check to go against like a fear of heights or vertigo or whatever got you uh backbone is 12. okay perfectly you are nerves of steel you are able to focus and since you have a 12 with that i'm gonna give you a uh you can look using um advantage okay. so give me a smooth check with advantage that's one is a four thank the gods six all right so unfortunately you can't see anything even with a six like the six is like the yeah the, the, the best of the worst yeah so, yeah exactly thank uh, god who wasn't that full <laughs> so you don't see anything and in fact you um the mist at the bottom kind of obscures mm -hmm. even like the tower itself you can't even see like the full tower shaft down and also like looking straight down a tower is kind of difficult anyways right um but i will say that with a six that there's a lot of like bright lights that don't look like incandescent lights like it doesn't look like a house or a, or a building or even a car or something but it's off into the distance and in different directions. But with a six, you can't focus on it and you don't really take up too much, but you do see bright lights in different directions and it's a different color. Like it's not white. It's like these yellows and oranges, like different colors. But uh, yeah, and they're at a distance. They're, they're not close to you. They're just like, you know, surrounding. The Interesting. Area. Okay, with noticing that, can I look towards the studio that I came from and see if some of those lights are kind of more con conjunction and like, con what's the word for it? Con uh, it it's nowhere near. It's it's okay. far. Okay, okay, that's because you, you're not far from the um the production studio, and those lights are far. Got it. Um, Got so it. even without yes. looking at the studio, you can tell like these lights are much further than that. Okay, 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 cool. Okay, and just one one question off the off the bat. I don't think this is not pertaining to any action I want to do, but do I notice that are they with these lights being as far as they are, do they seem like they're still in Bensalem? Yes. Okay, okay. Cause I've I forget how big Bensalem is, so I wanted to see are these lights still in Bensalem or on the outskirts? Give me a creep check. Okay. Eight. You're not quite certain because you can't see any landmarks. You also don't know uh, ben Benslam that well. Um, but you would assume that if if not like on the edges or the outskirts, it's it's basically like that. It's like on the edge of town. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so. 
I at least know that. I'm gonna start climbing down now. Okay. Um, give me so with the backbone you've already got in the twelve, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, give me a appreciate you. <laughs> give me a uh, a brawn check, and it's it's more so just how quickly you're able to go down. Okay. Bronze. <laughs> a four. Four. Okay. So you're like, I have no rush to get down. Also, I can't see. It's foggy. I'm going to slowly go down here. I got a fucked up foot. Yeah. I can't see my foot footing. And you, you take your time. You, you take quite a while to go down, but you make it to, down to the bottom. God, As you make 12, because <laughs> you was, you was going to kill me. <laughs> Um, as you make it down to the bottom, give me a smooth check okay. to assess your situation. Do you, well, actually, let me ask you this. Do you go to the ground or do you kind of just go to the ground-ish area? What's the ground-ish area if I'm not? Mis- like, are mis- you going to go to zero inches off the ground or are you going to go to like 10 feet off the ground and then survey the area? I do 10 feet for sure. Okay. So uh, you're still in the cage and you're on the ladder, so you're going to have disadvantage, but you're at least safe. So give me a smooth check with disadvantage, please. Okay. Eight. Okay. So um, you're still in the cage, so you can't see a 360 like you would if you were on the ground. Right. But at least for the 180 in front of you, you definitely don't see the clown. You don't see children. You also don't hear the clown or children or feet. You don't hear anything, Um, at least not in the immediate area. Um, One of the things that you noticed was that beforehand, the entire city kind of seemed silent Mm -hmm. it's not it's not like that anymore now there's like some sounds you can hear cars in the very very distance you can hear just like sounds of a town um which is a good sign you would assume right um but yeah so you don't see the clown you don't hear the clown you're 10 feet off the ground you go down to the ground what what would you like to do yeah I'm i'm gonna go down Okay, so uh, you make it down to the ground. You look around again. You don't see anything. You don't hear anything, at least in the immediate area. Um, Give me a creep check. Got it. Ten. Okay. With a ten, you do now hear a fleet of about three cars coming down the... uh, like in, so you're in an industrial park so it's coming from the main road going between like behind all these buildings but towards you as you come in you see that uh these are your not your car but like SCP. the scp vehicles right. yeah okay so these, these are on your uh, your end cool um, i'm just wave out you know it's not much i can really do i'm still hobbling i know i'm still broken i'm just wave out for pure flavor do you wave with your fingered hand or your non-fingered hand i'm gonna do non-fingered eh? <laughs> you can see now i have no fingers <laughs> all right so um ultimately what happens in the next couple of seconds is that the cars park several people go into the the uh broadcast area some of them approach you some of them go in the uh, other area you see people even like breaking into the trucks and things like that um give me a smooth check or okay so you don't you don't really pay attention to the people who go off to the sides uh you're paying attention to the three people coming towards you um you know these people are from the scp like you've maybe seen them in passing but you've never like worked face to face with them Mm -hmm. um so these are new people but you at least are aware like it'd be like if you worked in a you know a business and you're like i know that that's like an office worker i've just never had to talk to him right kind of deal. so it's like okay I, I know that this person is real you don't have to worry like is he fake right um, <laughs> uh so as they approach they they start giving you or 
start having you debrief them on everything that's happened. Do you tell them everything? Do you add anything? Do you subtract anything? What do you do? Uh, no. Um, I, I tell them everything. Um, including the the uh, car crash, the uh, our agent DOA, uh, my partner. Um, and. I, I also tell them the last whereabouts or so as much as I'm aware of the footsteps of the clown because I do know at this point that even with me altering the signal then that means those kids are still like they're not super powered kids anymore and they're now next to some creepy person well you're assuming that i'm assuming not. that that's an assumption yeah that's an assumption that's a super assumption because i don't know what happened you, after that you know that there won't be any more that's that's a thing you know right um but as far as the kids that are they existed you don't know you do know that there's some in that building that people just went into so we'll see um yeah because my biggest thing is like now is like wait if I turn these things off and these kids are even assumption wise, if these kids are even semi coming back to normal, they're mm -hmm. now more or less within feet of some random person. <laughs> and that's and honestly, that's kind of just as dangerous. Like, so. So you can. So as you give your debrief, mm -hmm. give me a smooth check or a creep check to kind of like read the person you're talking to okay i do smooth 12. okay okay so with a smooth check you can or with a 12 smooth check you can assess this person pretty well he's he's in broad light there's like a light off the side of one of the other industrial buildings so he's like you can well let you can see him right um as you l list off all of this stuff you can see a few things just very small facial twitches like the eyebrows and the eyes and the, the corners of the mouth just as you're doing this most of it it's like normal yep okay cool some of it you seem to be telling him things that he didn't know and again this is an scp that has been recorded um it wasn't contained before so this is not something that they had in storage but they've they've dealt with this scp before mm -hmm. um however um some of the things that you're talking about don't match his understanding of this scp um, and he is more of the office worker, so you would know that he would have a better, like, on paper understanding of this thing. He's never had to deal with it, of course, but, um, you know, he's had that. So your description of the SCP does not perfectly match his understanding, but it could also be due to the fact that, you know, it was never fully brought into uh, the right. SCP for containment. Um, the other thing that you that he that you can see off of his face is that when you start talking about like oh yeah like there's some other kids we gotta go find those other kids because when they wake up it's gonna be weird um you can see that he becomes concerned not for the kids but for you um and at this point and since that was kind of towards like the end of it he's quickly like changing the subject to basically getting you out of here that he starts talking about like okay we have to get some immediate attention to your injuries mm -hmm. we have to get you out of the town you have finished your part of the job the teams are out doing their jobs let's get you back to base okay um I'm gonna take a mental note of that. I don't. I can't really uh, retort on any of that. You know what I mean? <laughs> um. So I'm, I take a mental note of how <laughs> like weirdly and awkwardly he tried to change that subject. Mm -hmm. Um. Especially knowing like the other partner, I like my my first partner and like my my partner i was here and even with me being on the phone how like meticulous they are about the details for him to kind of switch so ra rapidly and awkwardly is a little off to me um so i'm gonna keep that in my head and then and he was doing that all the way up until that point so 
you right. do have you do have that. That, that that I still have that that basis where like that's what I'm saying like I'm I don't feel too weird about it but it's like uh all right mm -hmm. like yeah like, okay immediate injuries you're right I, I need a new hand we might have to chop it off at the wrist let's do this so let's get it let's get it going all right so um he basically ushers you back to the furthest car uh, to evacuate basically okay um as you leave the area give me a smooth check. Seven. You don't see much mm -hmm. at all as you're leaving. Um, like I said earlier, there's a mist that's kind of ground level. And as you're in a car, which is basically ground level, you don't get to see much of anything. At one point, you put the window down a little bit just to get some fresh air, and the, the mist is mist, but in the air above is the definite smell of smoke, um, which you never dealt with until this point. Right. Um, but that's it. With a seven, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but yeah, uh, the car is going to bring you back to base. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um. And are we going back to the base where we started to get my stuff, or are you talking about like base base? No, base base. Okay. Yeah, you're leaving town, basically. Can I get my stuff? Um. They basically say that either you like no. Uh. With. Uh. Okay. So. We'll, we'll role play this. So yeah, you're in the car. You're not going in the direction of the uh, the trailer park. You're going in the direction of the highway. Okay. Hey, hold, hold, hold. hold on, Slim. Hold on, Slim Pickens. Um, I gotta go back. We gotta go back to the trailer park. I not only have to get my stuff, uh, and I'm thinking more so about my my friend's uh, notebook. Um, mm -hmm. but I I would also like to get, um my partner's stuff uh because since he did die i feel like his belongings should not only uh be returned to base but um if he did have any immediate family they should have any of his belongings that he may have had back at that trailer base um they dismiss the last part you know the the belongings going to family thing because part of you joining this group was basically that you're no longer attached to the outside world. Yeah. Um, and then they dismissed the first part initially saying that, well, you guys don't really have things other than like equipment, which you can just get back at base and someone will get whatever's there. Um, but when you mentioned the fact that you had brought an extra notebook, um, Give me a trick check to kind of, you're not really manipulating him, but you are, you're kind of emotionally manipulating. Yeah, true. Um, wow. Five. Uh, he says, I'm sure someone will pick it up, but we have to get you looked at right away. Okay. Yeah, I can't really argue with that. All right, let's get back to base. Let's do it. All right. So you leave, you go back, you're, you're, you know, you were in Pennsylvania, you've left Pennsylvania now. Um and you get back uh we won't role play role play but we will still use a uh, a dice give me a backbone check to see how well they fix your foot okay seven okay so you your foot is not amputated it's set and healed um although you you have a slight limp but not like nothing that you like you can still walk at full speed mm. it's just you kind of like do this as you walk as opposed to just do, 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 do. okay um and now give me first give me a creep check to see how well they can fix your hand or if they have a way of fixing your hand six so they don't have a way of regenerating your hand right now 
Um, it seems that that type of SCP has been lost. Um, okay. So give me a backbone check to see how well of, a, of an aid they can give you. Backbone, right? Mm -hmm. Six. <laughs> so uh, they don't have anything for you. Um, and basically what they do is they just take like a glove and fill the fingers with fluff and then just put that on your hand. So you look like you have a hand, but it doesn't do anything. Shit. Uh, <laughs> you feel okay, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I ask them if, if, if I can get this fixed later? Because technically this is my left hand. I am a lefty. Yeah. Um, they say that there's chances. Um, just like waiting and coming back won't do anything. But like the possibility that they find an scp that can fix this or like recapture the ones that have been lost um it's there but you just it's not guaranteed okay as much as i can live with for now because that is my left hand uh, <laughs> i can't write now uh, <laughs> so okay um so, so you have right. you have that happen for you um you have a couple of days downtime that they give you. Um, is there anything that you do, or do you just use this to relax and recuperate? Like, it's, it's maybe like two or three days. It's it's not a long time, but it's just enough for you to kind of get your bearings before you go out to another mission. Um, I want to check if they got my notebook back. Okay. Um. Just give me, just do a 1d20, and if it's over a 10, yes. All right. I forgot the R. What'd you get? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. All right. Well, I got, uh, um, no. <laughs> I got a one, bro. Are oh, you gonna nat one? I got a nat one on a full random RD. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, give, give, give me <laughs> a a smooth check. This is for something up. separate. Gotcha. <laughs> a ten. Okay, so. Uh, you give them like a couple of days or like you don't go back to the office for a couple of days and for the first couple of days what you do though um, is just your no normal stuff like you still have social media but it's it's a, a proxy account so it's not for you it's for like a fake person right. um, but at least you're able to see like posts and shit um, you also have the news and you have you know all, all sorts of stuff so both like traditional media and new age media um and you see that the town you were just in, um, Benson, Pennsylvania, has had a major uh, disaster where about half of the town burnt down. Um, They're talking about people being displaced and not being able to move back in, in, inside and having the other half of the town have to leave anyways due to the smoke and due to the danger of the fires. So. They're not, um, yeah, th that, that was a thing that has been oh. out into the, the news at least. Um, and then when you go in the next day, uh, they mentioned that they were unable to make it to the trailer park due to fires and were, did not pick up anything, uh, from you or your partner. Damn. Damn. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt for my friend. Stupid ass Nat one. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, I get. I I keep a tough face. Is the best I can do. Uh, can't can't do nothing about it. At least even at least they tried. It wasn't like neglect. It, fire is a fire <laughs> uh fuck 
Damn. Um, that hurt. Um, all right. Uh, other than that, um, my biggest focus is now is keep relaxing. Um, wait for a way for them to fix my hand because I'm a lefty. Uh, and um, yeah, and and then just get ready for my next mission. But also realize I'm a lefty, so that means a lot of things I might have to actually I won't I won't be able to do like shoot a gun, mm -hmm. or write, <laughs> or drive. Um, so the next, we'll say that you you came back on Friday. You had the rest of Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Mm -hmm. So you come back in on Monday. Um, and basically they're going to give you an assignment and your assignment this time is by yourself, um, not as a punishment or anything. It's just due to strained resources. Right. Um, uh, your, your partner also is not there, obviously. Like you technically never saw his dead body. You just saw his arm right. and you saw his body be dragged away but then you never found it again um but it's definitely not at work so, that's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> so as you get there they're giving you a new assignment you're going by yourself you're going down south you're going to go to um the border of missouri and louisiana um right on the river uh there is unknown paranormal activity going on with uh readings of certain radiation associated with scps um which norm and they explain to you is normally not enough to be like found at a distance but because they were able to find it there was like you know a large burst of this radiation so either um mm. Either there is a really heavy activity or um, there might be more than one SCP or something like that, or they might be interacting with the way that they amplify each other. You don't know. Um, but the thing that you do know is that your, your goal is not to really do anything. You are there to go and get information for more people to come. There was one person who has already gone um, and has basically gone AWOL. Um, mm. they, they, they stopped checking in and they don't know what happened to him. He's assumed lost in, in the field, but they don't know for sure. Um, and this was, uh, his name was Researcher Tail. Researcher or, I'm sorry, Tail. Toll, Toll. Toll, sorry. Researcher Toll. T-O-L-E. Okay. Um, so he's missing. So your primary goal is to figure out what's going on in this area. Your secondary goal is to figure out what happened to Toll, if anything. And if you can, to locate his body. You do not have to physically take his body if he's dead or take him if he's alive, but at least report what happened, if okay. you can. Okay. Um, deal, deal. But that's the secondary thing. Your, your primary thing is just to figure out what the hell's going on. Deal and deal. All right. Good old knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you go down, you take your plane down. Uh, you have to go quite a way. So you take a plane, then you take a bus, then you actually have to end up taking a boat. Mm -hmm. Um so this is going to a region which is actually like there's an island in a river but it's not really in a river it's just where one river splits into two and then we'll reconvene on the other side okay um so is it, it like a it's swamp land it's it's swamp ish but like mm -hmm. the the island that it's on is solid enough that there's a building and it's this old 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 building okay um okay uh so you take this boat and it's like one of those open like the giant fan on the back to get you there yeah um and you go through and it's it's midday you know you've been traveling for a while now um you get through you see you know there's alligators around there's uh 
the the, the long things that grow like cattails and ferns and just whatever can grow out of the water you also see the large trees that raise up on their roots so that when the water comes up or down like it's still above it right, um, right now the water is low so you can see the exposed roots um, you can hear even over the fan just the fact that there's things out there um, mm. just bugs and animals and water and and all sorts of stuff. And as you finally approach this one area, you can see it is an old abandoned building of an unknown use. Uh, it, at first to you, it looks kind of like an old style, like not in or per se, but like maybe like a saloon or something. It's like three stories that you can see. Um, maybe four depending on how like things stack up it's rather wide and you don't know how deep like how lengthwise it is okay um there's okay. there's an area that looks like at one time um might have been kind of like a dock um there's definitely no cars or anything this is an island um but the dock has long since like eroded away uh and yes, you have gotten off. Or I'll leave it here. You're you're in the boat mm -hmm. at this place, um, and this is your boat. So the boat's not leaving you. So you at least have your exit boat. Okay. Uh, nice. So you you are basically where the docks were, um, but there is no dock. So either you can tie your boat to a post but then you'd be kind of out in the water or you can bring yourself up onto shore but you can't really tie your boat to things so you have ups and downs at both mm. um i'm gonna at least bring my boat to shore kind of try right. to get it on land as best as i can sure give me a brawn check to see how much you can move the boat not in the water okay Six. Yeah, it's a boat. You're yeah. you you you're, you've, you're missing a hand. <laughs> you're tired. Uh, you you get it like onto the, the f point where like it's slightly sticking up because it's on is on land, the ground, yeah. right? But it's not on the land. It's just like touching land. You know, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck it. It's good enough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, give me a smooth check to kind of assess this thing with the boat kind of what's going on 11 okay so uh you know that this is a river halfway up the continent you don't have tides per se so it's not like you're gonna have like a high tide come in and wash the boat away mm -hmm. But you do have river surges. So if something was to happen where the river went up, it would no longer be perched on the land. It would just be free floating in water. Um, and if that water were to be moving or whatever, then it would take the boat. But um, where you're at, it, you, you, you would assume it's very unlikely for that to happen. Okay. Um, that would take like a flash flood type of deal, which... Okay. You know, could happen at any point, but is very unlikely. It's not raining. It's it's midday. It's clear. So, at the very least, you have probably at least today without any type of worry. Um, okay. So you put that. I'm with that. Um, so now, give me another smooth check to kind of assess this building as you approach. Ready? Hmm? You gotta be. <laughs> What'd you get? A four. It's a very dilapidated building with no discernible markings. The windows are not boarded up, so it doesn't look like this was abandoned and then people came back to try to board it up. It just looks like this has been abandoned and then left. Okay. Um, the door is missing and thus open. Uh, there are broken windows that lead in. Inside is very dark. Um, so you can't quite see from the outside because of the way that the, the sunlight affects your eyes, you can't see into the darkness. Okay. Um, but you do have your flashlight with you. Um, 
which you'll have to use your working hand for, but you at least have that. All right. So All right. Uh, do you go through the front door, or are you going to do anything else before you go in? Um, I want to check. Let me check my signal on my device, on my phone. None. You're completely. I figured nothing. that. I figured that. <laughs> ah, the way, the way I hoped. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm on an okay. island. It's it's a, a decrepit dock in a in a in an old building. Not too much I can really look around for, but um. Not too much I can look around for, so I'm gonna go to the entrance, but I am gonna keep a focus. Maybe I can see some, maybe old etched, uh, not writing, but if it's a building, it would have had a. Sure, give me, give me a smooth check. Give me one last smooth check, but with disadvantage, since I already established that there's no visible markings. Got you, got you, got you. Seven. Okay. Um, you don't see any markings on the outside, mm -hmm. um, but what you do see basically once you like, you, you're not in the building yet, you're still like on the front step. Um, but as you look in, there's definitely, there's a cross on the, on the wall, like a Christian cross. Okay. Um, and then there's a desk there and it's one of those like long desks um kind of like a reception area so whatever this area is there's a reception and there's a cross um what it is you don't know okay all right so we're going to wrap up here as you finally get to this building yep, yep. and next episode we will see what's inside all right let's do it Woo. easy anna Thank <laughs> you.